Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my review of the new comic book series, Jane Jet. So I first learned about the series Jane Jet when the creator Amal Desai reached out to me and they asked if I could review their book. And of course I said yes because I love, you know, independent comics and small creators and, and everything. And I think that that's great when people just go out and make comics. And it's something that I hope to do soon and I wanted to see what other indie creators are doing. So I checked it out and I have to say that I thought it was a lot of fun. So the summary for Jane Jett goes like this. In a diesel punk 1955, Jane Jett hits the skies after killing her abusive husband, Rocket Man, and becoming public enemy number one. If she's to survive, she'll need to outfly the looming shadows of World War II and onslaughts from the nearly unstoppable armored heroes of this age. The creators for the series are Amal Desai, who is the writer, editor, and co-creator, Paula Sensen, who is the artist and co-creator, Juliana Lamalfa, who is a colorist. So first, just a few little nitpicks I had with the book. Um, I think that there could have been a little bit more done to establish the setting of where we're at and, and, and whatnot, because I did go into this blind. I didn't even read the summary. I just wanted to just kind of see you know what the the story would do for me to set up the the first issue because i do that a lot with things I'll, I'll i'll go in without even looking at the summary or knowing what it's about just to jump in and see what the story is about and i think that this book could have done a little bit better of a job establishing the setting i was a little bit confused at what time period it took place in and that's because some of the vehicle designs technology designs look way and the style too as well as like a lot of the the, the art design looks way more modern than the time period that they're going for it doesn't even it doesn't really have like a retro futuristic look with that said though the only other like critique i have is really with the art i think that the hands look a little off sometimes but that's really the only critiques i have of this book with that being said, I really like the setting for this book. I like that it takes these real life events and uses them as a basis for the story, such as the United States using Nazi scientists to uh, up our technology with the space race and whatnot. So a lot of that is present here, and it's a lot of fun. It really creates a really unique setting, I, I think. And I really like the character designs, even though I said that maybe some of the designs don't necessarily match the time period. I really do like all the character designs in this. I think everybody looks really cool. I really like the heroes and the way everybody looks. It's, it's got a there's a lot of really fun superhero costumes and designs in this story. The banter and the dialogue is pretty good, too. Um, you really get a good sense of chemistry from a lot of the characters, and you get a real sense of history with a lot of them, too, because lines are drawn in this story because of the setting and everything. I'm, I don't want to give any spoilers away or, or too much away, but you do get a, a sense of that there there's a lot of history that's being put on the line because of the situation that the characters are in and i think that comes through with the banter and the good chemistry that i i think was really well written with the dialogue and going back to the whole setting thing at the end of the book it does something that i really liked and this isn't a spoiler by the way it kind of reminds me how Watchmen did this, where at the end of the the issues of Watchmen, you get like newspaper articles that would really flesh out the whole you know Watchmen universe, like the backstory, what's going on, and everything. And I really, really like when books do that, and especially comic books. It's just like if you're just, it's a really good way of world building. And I really like that in this book because they go through and they the creators list all of the major historical events that inspired the events in this book. So you can really see you know where they're drawing from and everything and get and get us more of a sense of what they're going for with this story, which I think is really cool. It's really neat, and I hope that they continue doing that throughout the series. Despite my one critique with the hands, I think the art is overall pretty good. I enjoyed it. There was nothing glaring off about it or anything. I thought the anatomy and everything looked good. And it, I like that it wasn't so ultra realistic. It still had a little bit of a cartoony look to it. It kind of remind me of almost a Todd Knox style, something, something similar to that, where it's just a lot of fun, a lot of energy in it. And I think it really matches the overall aesthetic that they're going for for the story. So guys, if you're looking for a independent book to read, you know, you want to take a 
a break from the big two or any of the other independent publishers or third party publishers, I highly recommend checking this out. I think that it really, it really set the groundwork for what I think is going to be a fun story. And I do look forward to checking out more. So it is going to be releasing today on Amazon. So you can go ahead and check that out. And I will include a link to Amal's social media and all the other creators' social media in the description below. So you can go check them out, you know, give them a follow, support their work and everything. Cause it's like, it's great. And stuff like this encourages people to go out and create more of their own independent work. So as you know, that I've previously had involvement in things like Apollo city comics and everything. So always go out and check out their work. Um, I know my other friend, Brandon Mankata is working on a series called polter kitten. Uh, that's posted up. I, I don't know where it's posted, so I'll have to leave a, a link to that in the description below. But yeah, go out and support these small creators and everything because this is stuff that's really good. And you, oftentimes you get more creative work, I think, out of these small creators because they're not, they don't have the shackles of a lot of the bigger studios, you know, that they have with creators. So there's a lot more a variety in storytelling and whatnot. So. Yeah, go check this book out. Uh, like I said, the first issue drops today, so make sure you check it out and see what you think of it. I think that it's going to be pretty fun, and I, you know, am interested to see where the story goes. So I will be picking up the next issue. So uh, that's it for me, guys. I just want to say thank you to Amal for reaching out to me. I'm really glad that I had the chance to do this, and I will be working on some more videos coming up soon uh I'll probably do some more figure reviews coming up next i'm gonna do a, a video where i just kind of catch up on all of my my comics and everything that i've read uh lately i i have uh i read the deaths of stock dr strange run uh some of the scott snyder justice league run and a couple others that i would really like to just you know to give you guys my quick thoughts on that so maybe we'll just do a comic catch-up day because i really need to catch up on my backlog because i'm i think i'm over a year behind at this point from my backlog of comics so yeah we'll we'll see how that goes um so anyway guys like i said that that's it for me as always if you like what you see go ahead and hit subscribe you can follow me on social media the links are down in the description below and i will see you next time take care Reporting live from the third planet, from the black hole. It's the astro floating through the astral plane. I maintain this wisdom. I'm the vassal. Yeah. Baby, I'm just burying these rappers like a time capsule. Let my mind travel through dimensions. Check this pimping. I'm just trying to find a piece like Olimar.